Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to NFX Tech. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, we're going to be taking a quick look at the crackling noise in FL Studios. When you have a MIDI keyboard set up, or you have the MIDI drum set up, or something's hooked up and you're hearing some clicking in the background, this is going to help you try to optimize your playing um, along with uh, the clicking noises in FL Studio. So, why don't we hop over to the screen now? I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, let's take a look. We got FL Studio popped up here. Um, so it's a little bit elongated, but it's going to be the same um, buttons and locations that everything is on your screen as well. So let's take a look up here. Um, so right now we're talking about the clicking noise in here. Right now I have a MIDI keyboard hooked up to FL Studio, which you can see over here by going over to the MIDI settings under options. Uh, options up at the top is like the fifth option in, I believe. Uh, we got the Allegro uh, 3 setup. It is enabled. It's working. Um, and everything sounds solid with that. So we're going to scroll over to the second tab that you see in FL Studios here, which can be your audio. Um, so as far as what you're hearing, as far as the clicking, so let's say um, it presets it here to, 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 let's say 15, okay? And then you go in, you, you, you're ready to jam, all right? You got your piano cam ready, and you're, you're going, okay? And it sounds a little something like this. Ugh. It's just not sounding good. Okay, you're hearing a bunch of clicking. Um, that's gonna come from when you press a key. This millisecond um, number right here. This is gonna tell you how long it takes to press a key, and for the sound to relay over your speakers, your headphones, your soundbar, whatever you have your audio hooked up to. How long is that delay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm clapping at you. All right, let me bring this up a little bit closer for you guys here. All right, so taking a look here under the audio settings in FL Studio, we're just watching the underruns run, run up and run up and run up. And that is the clicking sounds that you're getting. So the reason you're hearing the clicking every time you see that go up by one, that's every click. So that's why we're hearing so much of that crackling noise. Um, so what you can do is recommended that okay so you come over here under audio options you're going to take this buffering length and you're going to make it a little bit longer so that means the higher that you go when i click this key it's going to take 95 milliseconds for the sound to actually play into my headphones which you could see here will also create some issues so what we need to do is find that happy balance where we're not going to hear any of that crackling noises so why don't we drop this down to like i don't know 55. All right, now we have a clear sound, but it's taking 55 milliseconds for me to play the key. And for the, the sound to actually come through my headphones. So the issue with that is that if you are playing in time or a song like Dire Dire Docs, which I'm playing here, it could throw you off just a little bit because you have that slight delay uh, when you're going off of different uh, time measurements. So. There's a better solution to this, and the better solution is going to be to change the device completely. Uh, so right now, the device is set to my um, interface under music. It's usually set to your primary sound driver right here, uh, which you will not hear on my end because I don't have that hooked up that way. So when you drop down this uh, menu under devices, you're going to see all of the different sound outputs that you can output sound into. Your list is going to look different to mine, except you're going to see a separate divider here called ASIO Devices. Uh, the main one you're going to want to take a look at is the FL Studio ASIO. Uh, this will allow it to give all of the processing uh, to this itself. So if you have something running in the background, it's going to make this your primary um, usage. It defaulted to 12 milliseconds here, but we can even open this up and we can make it a little bit better. So if you want to bring that down to six milliseconds, you're really going to be playing in real time. Um, you can also change that if it's still crackling for you, depending on your computer, you can change that to a 12 millisecond, you can change it to 24, you can change it to a 47. Uh, you also have the option of nine too. So you want to mess around with those, make sure you can get rid of the crackling just by qu clicking in between these. And once again, that's 
by clicking on the panel here itself. But you notice that when you pull up the FL Studio ASLO driver, you get a whole new option here. You don't have that slider to adjust the milliseconds that you do under when you have your primary driver set for the device. And so we're gonna run this at a six millisecond. Now we're gonna see if we got rid of that crackling noise. Now, if you remember, if we ran a six millisecond underneath the primary driver, it was full on crackle. So let's see how many crackling noises we get when we play the song now. Very good. Awesome. It sounds so much better. If we take a look at the underruns there, we have zero underruns. So we're not getting that crackling clicking noise that we were getting with um, the primary driver set at six milliseconds. And just to show you a very quick example of what happens when we set this to six. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Great. Um, there's definitely some trial and error with all of this, so definitely make sure you're looking for that happy medium. Uh, you can bounce between the FL Studio ASIO and you can bounce between the primary driver and just kind of mess with that toggle slider uh, with as far as the milliseconds. Definitely lower is better because the quicker that it's going to recognize you're pressing the key, the more in time you're going to be able to stay when you're playing your music. Um, a couple issues or troubleshooting that I ran into. Um, I have noticed, so right now I have an interface set up and with my interface, it goes to my microphone, which is XLR. It has a head uh, headphone output, which I have on here and it has a line out. The line out, I do play to a sound bar. I have noticed that some sound bars, they have a delay itself. Even if you have it hooked up through a 3.5 millimeter jack, you're still gonna experience a delay with the sound bar. Um, there are some sound bars that do play in real time, so you'll just kind of want to keep an eye out, make sure you're, you got the proper sound bar. But if you are noticing a delay when you are playing on a key, a uh, MIDI keyboard to your sound bar, put in the headphones. Make sure it's not just uh, the, the program itself. Um, FL Studio has done a great job with this ASIO. It's definitely helped me a lot to play in time and actually play more clear, crisp, crisp sounding music. Um, so definitely excited about uh, FL Studio is one of my favorite programs. So if you guys are looking for a place where you can get your questions answered quickly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos that'll help you out with some tech tips. Uh, that is it for me. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.